Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Retro Jingo here. So I sold my A500 and, uh, Mini. Why did I do that? What's going on? Now, to be fair, I reviewed this console and uh, fair has to be fair. So I'm gonna show you something first, guys. I entered the menu because on my review, the games were chopped off down at the bottom and the comments are just rolling in from the uh, from the review yesterday and um, the picture was just it was chopped down and uh, some of you said try other TV settings other TVs other 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 but I found out why my setup had the issue uh, and I you can actually um, enter uh, options here my display screen fit uh, disable CRT effect, enable image uh, smoothing. Okay, that's nice. Down here at advanced options, television settings. This one was on use screen edges. Enable this option if your television can display full 720p image without cropping. That was enabled, which made my screen move a bit down so I couldn't see my health bar and stuff like that in Chaos Engine. But I have disabled it now. And after doing that, look at Chaos Engine. Guys, woohoo! It works. Right, let's just load Chaos Engine. Because fair have to be fair, guys. Yes, a year ago when this one announced, I was just. I was so happy. I mean, no one was as excited as me. I thought they would put a, um, a FPGA solution inside this. I, I, I was really hyped. And then it came with a software emulator. I mean, it was just a letdown for me. Let's just look at the bottom of the screen so you guys can see that it looks great. Okay. There we go. The screen is perfect now. Amazing. Okay. Love that stuff. So you can just disable that if you have the same issue that I had and, and have this beautiful game running. Now, why did I sell this, man? Why did I sell this? This is not an Amiga. It's a console. It's an A500 Mini. It's a console. It's a closed system. The Amiga, it's much, much more than just this. Okay. But it's a gaming console for the average Joe. Beautiful stuff. The thing is, some games like the Chaos Engine, it Chaos Engine likes to run at seven, at 14 megahertz systems, right? But other games that are included in this system, uh, games like that we see here, Alien Breed, of course, or this uh, 3D game, I haven't tried it, the Sentinel, but we have Alien Breed here. Here, 3D. A game like this, you want the console to be powerful, to run it well. And then when you switch to Alien Breed, then you want the console to be slow, uh, as accurate, as normal speed as possible, because now I'm playing Chaos Engine and it goes, it runs too fast. Some of the games, the music is too fast and stuff like that. So then you have to go into game options, enable copper, um, blitter, give it more RAM, less RAM, uh, just in time, JIT enable this for every game. Guys, that's not a console experience. Okay, that's not, that, that, that kills it all. If you make something like this, optimize the emulating program to but just be plug and play and run the user the average joe should not go home put in the usb and go in and adjust the settings on a console on a gaming console i mean what's going on the whole purpose dies as soon as you go in and you have to adjust and adjust and adjust come on guys i hope the a500 Maxi uh, with a keyboard. I mean, if it's just the same emulator with a keyboard, then don't do it. Don't release it. Don't use the time because you can just put on a keyboard on this. Then it's the same. Don't do it like that. Okay. 
I hope you will go ahead, use the money from all the sales of this product. Uh, it's already everywhere for sale. <laughs> it's great. Uh, go in and use an FPGA solution. I'm hearing great stuff about the Mister. I haven't tried it yet, but people said that it's really accurate. Something like that. Put on an FPGA, full size, full keyboard, uh, include, you know, Workbench 3.1, whatever, uh, so we can use it as an Amiga because this is not Amiga, okay? So why, so that, that, that's why it, it just, I don't know what I should use it for and it, yeah, oh, now I chose it a bit, I'm so sorry guys, let me see here, let's go into the menu and choose Chaos Engine, there we go guys. <laughs> um, yeah, Chaos Engine now runs full screen. It's loading. Yeah. It's the AGA version. How great is that? AA, it's it. Yeah, let's go in. There we go. Ah, full screen, guys. What do you think? And let me just have my hand up here. Now, the oh man, the comments on my review, it's... Ugh! Now, I, I wanna share something. Retro Django, why don't you like a joy pad? Why does it have to be a joystick? Let me just give you a little example here, guys, okay? So when you play Amiga games, my Amiga is just, I love Amiga, right? So, you hold the button, you will shoot. Okay, this is an eight-way directional pad, it should be. So, if I want to shoot to the right, I just uh, push to the right and I push to the left. It has got some uh, split-second delay, it's nothing important. But, when I want to shoot northeast, then I have to press these two buttons. And, there we go. And, and, you know... This is okay, but when you're playing, you have to do this really fast, and it's just not accurate enough. Let me see, here, yes. I will try to go through level one, but I love, I love that the screen is uh, perfect now. Oh, come on, there we go. The button. Oh, don't get angry now. Okay, okay. Easy. No. Ah. It's the eight-way direct. Whoa. Okay. And I love this game. I know where the enemies are and... I mean... There we go. Let's just get through level one. There we go. And you know what? We're... Oh. Level two, <laughs> we have got these frogs that, that will jump on you. Now this level, there, there we go. This level is just, you have to, oh, my thumbs is hurting, man. This level is piece of cake. But level two, you have got these frogs that are jumping on you. Ah, there we go. Then you just need that accuracy. <laughs> you need to be fast. Hoot, hoot. Oh, I love this game. No! Oh! Okay. Oh. Now, give me the bomb! There we go! There we go. All right, guys, beautiful stuff. Now let's check out the frogs here. And for the average Joe, it's a great system. Go ahead and buy this, support the company. Oh, you guys are writing to me that Retro Games Limited, they are um, they're, uh, sharing all the reviews on their Facebook page, except mine, except Retro Jenkins review. It doesn't get shared. I mean, one of you guys did write, 
they shared a guy that has 44 uh, subscribers with nine uh, showings. They shared that, but me that has thousands of su subscribe, oh, subscribers and views, they, they, they don't, they don't want to share my video. It's, it's, it's because. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, you can just turn this off. I'm gonna show you something, okay? And this goes out to the average Joe that wants to have an Amiga experience. Let me turn on an Amiga, okay? Now you have to see what an Amiga is, okay? So please, if you're all new into the Amiga, don't think, wow, the Amiga was like this. No! The Amiga, the Amiga was absolutely not just like this. The Amiga is much, 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 much more than this. Now we're running a real Commodore Amiga 1200. We're going to find Cass Engine. Oh, CH uh, Cass Engine. There we go. Cast Engine 2. Cast Engine. There we go. CD32. Amiga. With the Amiga, you can play a lot of games, but you can also make great music. You can make pictures, animations, all sort of stuff. I love the real Amiga. Now, the dumbest term in 2022 in the Amiga community is a purist. How dumb is that? Retro Django, you're a purist you're an, an elitist how dumb is that guys no i'm an amiga user i use i'm in a commodore amiga facebook group i use amiga that's what i am i'm not a purist elitist or whatever dude so dumb so messed up just an amiga user now we're gonna play with an amiga 1200 with a uh, zip stick here and uh, no settings, no screen chopping, no nothing, no disc swapping, nothing. The audio is amazing, the graphic is perfect, the gameplay with a joystick. Joystick instead of... What is this, man? Did the designer of this whole A500 Mini just sit down two seconds and think, how many people use the CD32 with a pad? And how many millions of people use the Amiga with a joystick? What should we go for? I understand this one is missing the keyboard. So nice with a lot of selections with weapon power up choosing, blah, 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 blah. But you could put in some more keys on a joystick. You know, you could do that, okay? So go ahead, upgrade with this. Okay, so now we're going to play Chaos Engine. Uh, and when I want to shoot, I just uh, hold the button down and I want to shoot to the... Um, uh, then I do this, it's so simple, it's so simple. Wow, it's so simple, I love it. Let's go, let's see if I can make it to level 2, guys. That would be great. So let's see. And it's okay if you guys don't want to share my videos. I know you're watching them. I know that you're watching and learning and I hope at... When you make the maxi version, you will just take whatever problems that a Amiga gamer, Amiga purist or what you want to call it, has got and you can optimize and make it better because I love this. When I heard about this uh, a year ago, I was so excited. Oh, in this game, I have to pick up all the gold because the gold, you can uh, upgrade your weapons and food and energy and all stuff like that. It's and me talking and playing is not a good idea because I can't concentrate. I can't do two things at once, but I'm trying, guys. Okay, I'm trying. I mean, it's a... S there we go. Food power up. <laughs> Love this game. Thank you for including this beautiful game. Another one should come up. There we go. And the gate is closed. There we go. Let's pick up all the good gold. Yeah. If player two is dead, then you can take that yin and yang sign. Oh! Player two just picks up everything, man. There's power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
again, if I don't want this, when you hold the button down, you can activate the special. I can go in and say, uh, auto fire. Then I can just hold the button down and it will just shoot like crazy. <laughs> so nice. But the thing is, with auto fire on, the shooting rate is really high, but when you uh, move the joystick, you will take small steps. But you will save your, um, what's it called? Your power up, right? What? I got hit? I got hit in this game? What's going on? <laughs> All right. We got one, one hit, guys. I mean, look at this. If you're a purist, if you love the real Amiga, the accuracy, the gaming, the timing, the music, the everything. Let's, let's just take uh, auto fire off. Special activated. Bam, there we go. I, I just love everything to work and I have nothing against emulation. If it works, if it's accurate, then why not love it? Why not use it? But the stage that it's at in right now, is just nothing for me. And if you like it, more power to you, man. No one cares. Emulate all you want. Let's check out the frogs and end this video because... Oh yes! What wow, the frogs! Oh, I love this! Let's check out all the gold! I mean, the accuracy when you're playing Mi games with a joystick, it's unbelievable. And you know what, guys? Of course, there will, there is uh, probably an adapter from USB to DP9 and uh, that works with this system. Why not? Of course, man. Yeah, there we go. So go ahead and uh, I just think that a joystick should be included in this system. So if you are new into Amiga, Please don't think the A500 is the Amiga experience. It's not. N not. No freaking way. Amiga is a thousand times better than this. Millions, millions times better than. Come on. There we go. Oh, that, 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 that was the frogs I was talking about. Oh, you have to be fast. There we go. Did you see that? Did you see the reaction? Action. Mother, mother. In, uh, sh uh, there we go. There we go. They have no chance, man. Froggies. What up? What up? Did I get shot in this level once or is it from level one? I don't know. But yeah, you know what I mean, guys. I mean, oh man, it's so nice with the real thing. It's so nice to be an elitist, purist uh, Amiga user. <laughs> so dumb that term. I, I can't explain how dumb it is. So you want to drive car? Yes. So if you drive a real car, you're an elitist. But if you um, uh, use a virtual reality and simulate driving, then the, it's okay. I mean, I drive a car if I want to drive a car, man. I'm not a purist. I just like to use the real thing. There we go. Oh, oh, that frog hit me. Did you see that? Amateur gameplay, amateur retro Django. Pull yourself together. Oh no 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 no! There we go. <laughs> what up, Froggy? What up? What? Come on! A frog, a special. Yeah. What was that? Something was popping. Oh, how cool is this? So if you're if you just uh, got into the Amiga, I mean, try to be a purist because the Amiga experience is incredible. It's so good. It's so perfect. I love everything about it, man. And if you don't uh, want to play games only, you can create amazing music and oh, the demos. And I mean, the whole Amiga package is incredible. So. The Amiga 500 Mini is sold to the next guy. Let the next guy enjoy it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Special edition. Wow. 
I mean, wow, the real thing, call me an elitist, okay, <laughs> it's an incredible experience. So the whole point of this video is you can adjust the A500 to be, to be more precise. Yes, A500 meaning, um, but all the adjustment and stuff like that, it just kills it for me. They will probably software update to just detect the software and check the power up. I mean, if you put in a Super Nintendo game, if the game needed some more, they put in some more power on the cartridge itself and you just put it in and just, it played those 3D games or whatever, dude. It just worked, okay? Console should be like that. You're not going into adjustments and adjust off and blah, blah, blah. No, console should just be a console. And this is a console, right? So, to the new guy that experienced Amiga like this, if you're disappointed, go ahead and buy the real thing. Amiga is so cool, I can't explain. The graphics are amazing, okay? I love, if you love that 16-bit pixelated graphics, the Amiga is just the top. It was ahead of its time. Polar chip, audio, music, mod files, game creation, music creation, uh, demos, pictures. You can also use your uh, text editor and make an essay. I know today in 2021, you and your phone is a thousand times better, uh, faster than an Amiga. Yeah, I know, but it's so good, so perfect. Love the system. I mean, give the Amiga a chance, okay? <laughs> and um, again, go ahead and support this company. I sold it to the next guy. He got a cheap A500 Mini that has been used for one day by the first owner and 30 minutes from me. That's enough. <laughs> but I was so excited. So when the Maxi comes out, I hope, I hope it will give the real Amiga experience, okay? I really hope that, um, of course, the keyboard will work. Of course, it will have not... Um, floppies at the side, but it will have a USB, so you can just put an ADF files and game play ADF files. It will have a USB again. Uh, you can uh, copy copy over all the WHTO games, and it will just work with that. It will have FPGA, much more correct Amiga experience. It will have a one-to-one -one copy of the zip stick with a USB. That's the dream. When that comes out, go ahead and check out my review. I will love it. Have a great day out there, guys. Retro Django out.